Abdelati, Professor of Cardiology, Faculty of Medicine at Aixin University, and also a chairperson and one of the board members of Cardio Alex. Hello, Doctor, how are you? Hello, fine. Uh, doctor, doctor, what's new uh, this year in Cardio Alex? In every uh, Cardio Alex, we have we have new uh, because we are very progressive every time. Uh, I will be talking about the field of nuclear cardiology and cardiac imaging. I mean nuclear cardiology, multi-size CT, um, um, MRI uh, in our program. Um, this year we have at least 13 hours of uh, sessions in this covering these items, plus around three hours competition between young investigators in the field of cardiac imaging for awards. Um, so um, this time we have more awards more competition among uh, centers, uh, cardiac centers for imaging. Uh, this has a guard this uh, the program. And uh, also this uh, year, we have two eminent speakers from USA in the field of nuclear cardiology, Robert Handel and Gregory Thomas. Both of them are very uh, eminent figures in the field of nuclear cardiology. Both of them were presidents of the American Society of Nuclear Cardiology. And added to this, they, both of them are friends to our group, the Egyptian group of nuclear cardiology, Dr. Adel Alam from Al Azhar, Dr. Ali Abdel Fattah from Cairo, and, uh, and for me. Both of them gave about five talks in these two days, and these five talks are covering very important uh, uh, topics in uh, the cardiac imaging field. One of these topics is how to utilize the exercise stress test in a different manner. Beforehand, we are using the exercise stress test to diagnose ischemic heart disease or not. And you can um, imagine how uh, the positivity is low. Using this stress test, the sensitivity is 60% only. Nowadays, adding this exercise stress test with all its details, plus the coronary calcium in the coronaries, these two tests will cost around maybe 300 Egyptian pounds, very cheap and give us enormous data and information about our patients, if he has ischemic heart disease or not, or what's more important, if he's prone to ischemic heart disease before it happens, uh, another important issue. The third point, which is very important, um, uh, me and uh, my dear colleagues, Dr. Adil and Dr. Alia, this morning presented very important uh, registry from Egypt about our patients with ischemic heart disease, who are coming to do myocardial perfusion scan and nuclear study. Adil from Al Azhar presented from a private center around 10,000 patients. Alia from Cairo University about 5,000 patients. And for me from Alexandra about 5,000 patients. So we have 20,000 patients with ischemic heart disease, did myocardial perfusion, and the myocardial perfusion can tell us if the patient is ischemic or not, and how severity is the ischemia, how many of the myocardium is involved or lost by this ischemia. What's very striking from our three data, that ischemic heart disease in Egypt is a disease of middle age subjects. Mm -hmm. It is not the disease of elderly above 60. Most of our patients, 60% of our patients are below 60 years old. The onset of ischemic heart disease in Egypt is 10 years earlier than in Europe and US. Not only this, the severity of the ischemic heart disease we have is much more severe. We usually calculate score called some distress score. And if it is more than eight, it is severe, more than eight. In US and Europe, it's around eight, 10 in this mm. range. In our patients, it is about 17 sound distress score. Enormous. So we have a form of ischemic heart disease very severe compared to Europe and USA. We have multiple risk factors both in this ischemia. At the top of the risk factors is hypertension, hyperpressure, and smoking. Then comes dyslipidemia, hypercholesterol, and diabetes. So it's very important to know that how much we have this ischemic heart disease in this productive age. Number two, it is coming early and earlier and more earlier. Number three, it's a very severe form. 
That's why we have to tackle this problem. We have to away, make awareness of our publics about this risk factor and they have to stop. All over the world, the incidence of smoking is declining. In Egypt, it's progressive. And not only progressive, it's progressive in, a, in, a, in an age period, which is very young, yes. teenagers, teen and twins. And smoking, as you see, it's the highest risk factor causing ischemic heart disease. And then, in my study, I compared people with ischemic heart disease and who have only a risk factor, which is smoking, only. With another group, are not smokers, but they have diabetes and hypertension. Before I do this study, I expected that patients with diabetes and hypertension will do very poor compared to the smokers. And what's astonishing that the smokers without diabetes and hypertension are more severely ischemic than diabetes and hypertension. Okay. So from this study, we can say that smoking is not only the highest risk factor in Egypt, but also it is as equivalent as diabetes and hypertension in causing advanced, severe, and the early, and the early ischemic heart disease. Thanks a lot, Doctor. Thank you very nice much. To have Thank you very you much. Nice to meet you too. Thank you very much.